Hi, this is Lou, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to be painting some pretty patterned Easter eggs. So I've got uh, my usual supplies, I've got my watercolour palette, um, I've got some watercolour paper, um, I've got a round brush, this is number eight, and I've got a smaller brush for adding details. I've also got some water and some paper towel. Now I'm going to do this by eye, but if you wanted to sketch your egg shapes in pencil first, there's absolutely nothing stopping you doing that. Now I'm going to mix a grey together, and if you've got a grey or a black in your palette then feel free to use that, but I'm going to mix one. My go-to's for mixing kind of neutral greys are um, to mix blue and brown together. And that should give me a nice neutral grey colour. I'm going to add a fair bit of water into here because I want this to be really nice and delicate. I don't want this to kind of overtake anything. I might add just a little bit more blue into there. And I can test it on a little piece of scrap paper and just make sure I'm happy with the colour. So I'm going to draw the outline of the egg, so nice and round at the bottom, a little bit pointed at the top. And um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to put three on the piece of paper, so I'm doing the first one right in the middle. And if I don't get the shape right exactly the first time, that's okay, because I can go in again and just tidy up the edges with the point of my brush. Make it nice and symmetrical and nice and fat and round at the bottom. And then at this point you can decide whether you're happy with the size of it. If you want to make it bigger, you can. So I might make it a bit fatter and rounder at the bottom here. and smooth that side out. Now I'm just dipping my brush in water and I'm going to take that water around the inside edge of the little egg shaped ring that I've drawn and just use that water to spread out all of this colour so it's nice and smooth and neat. This should give me a bit of a highlight in the middle but I want to emphasise that so I can go and add in a little bit more colour and decide where the light's coming from. And I think my light's going to be coming from this end, so this side is going to be the darker side. So I can just drop in a bit more pigment at this bottom edge down here. So then I've got a little bit of a highlight in the middle, but I can emphasise that a bit more by cleaning my brush, dabbing the excess on some paper and using that to lift out a nice highlight on this top right hand side. I'm going to keep going and blending until it's all nice and smooth. So that's one, uh, and now I'm going to do another two, one on each side.
Now my eggs have dried, I'm going to go in and add some patterns. I think I'm going to do some stripes on this one in the centre and then the ones on the outside I'm going to do some like flowers, leaves, maybe some little dots. Just have fun with it. So I'm going to um, pick a little palette of colours. I'm going to start with that blue that I used before, so the ultramarine. Just add a little bit of water this time. I think I want a pink or a red, so I might use this permanent rose. That could be fun. I think I want another red. I want it to be definitely different from that pink, so I'm going to add a little bit of orange into it, but a little bit of yellow into some red would work just as well. There we go. I'll start with these and then see see how I get on. If I want any other colours, I can always add them. So for the stripes, if I might make my stripes slightly curved, it'll add to the effect of the egg looking curved. So let's put a nice stripe around here. Add another one a little bit further up. Maybe another one, another blue one at the top. Let's go in with my nice bright orangey red and maybe do some slightly thinner stripes. One here. Maybe another one up here. And then the pinky ones. Let's do some nice scallop shapes maybe. So I'm going to start with the stripe in the same way. And then I'm just going to paint a little series of half circles on the top. And I'm painting this just with the tip of my brush, trying to be nice and delicate with it. But if you feel like moving to a smaller brush, see, so you can do that as well. Let's go and fill all those in. Put a little pink stripe in here as well. Dotting a little extra colour along there. And then I'm going to put the scallops here, but they're going to go down this time, face down. So again, a little series of half circles. And just go along and fill them in. Right, I'm going to leave that for now. I might come back to it and add a little bit more later on. Let's do this one now, just checking it's all dry. And this one I'm going to do a little pattern of trailing stems with leaves and then maybe some little flowers. So um, I think for this I'm going to switch to my little brush just to get the stems nice and smooth. And all of my stems and leaves are going to be blue. So I want these to look like they're curving all the way around the egg. And I'm going to put some nice little trailing, curving stems like this. Let's add another one up here. Uh, 
and then that's going to branch off like that. Something like that. Now let's add some leaves onto this. You can decide whether you want to leave your leaves open like this or whether you want to add a little line down the centre, maybe like that. Or you could completely fill them in. And I'm gonna I'm gonna fill them in. So I'm going to add some more trailing branches to fill the whole of the egg shape and keep adding the leaves and then I'm going to add some little flowers. rose colour and I'm going to add some little flowers into here so sometimes on the end of a stem here I'm just going to I'm using my uh, round brush again and I'm just going to press down once twice I'm going to turn my paper three times and give myself some little flowers with three petals like this sometimes there's a handy little end of a stem that I can use Sometimes you might, need, you might need to add one, so I want a flower in there. So I'm going to add an extra little stem here and add a flower there. One, two, Again, I want one here, so I can add one, two, three, and then I can use the blue to draw the stem in, like that. And if I don't touch the blue to the, the pink, then they're not going to run. on this one I'm going to paint some little spots in red, just tiny little ones. If you want to go the extra mile you can add a little bit more blue just with a little stripe down the centre of the leaves. My third one I'm going to do some bigger flowers. I'm going to use the, uh, the ready orange mix. Let's make up a bit more of that more bright red, 
a bit more orange or yellow. There we go. Nice tomatoey colour. So I'm using my I'm using my round brush again. And I'm going to let's put one here. So I'm going to do a circle of petals around it like a gap. So I'm just pressing my brush down a few times um, in one space. Um, pressing my brush down again, maybe two or three times in the same space. Here. Here. I'm just moving clock clockwise around that centre. One, two, three, we do five or six petals. Something like that. And I want these to be nice and messy. Let's do another one here. There's one petal. Two petals, three petals, and just kind of splodging them. And this one I can make shallower by making the petals on this side a little shorter. Something like that. So again. And I've got to be careful not to go over the edge of the... Just go over the edge of the egg to make it look like it's kind of curving around. So I can paint quite carefully up to the edge and allow the rest of it to be nice and messy. Add a little bit more water and then I'm going to put a few petals here, just making it look like there's another flower there, a little bit of one there, and maybe something up here. While I'm waiting for that one to dry, I can come back and add a little bit more detail into this one here. So I'm just going to use my little detail brush to add some extra stripes, maybe some dots, something like that. dry I'm going to come back and add some centers I'm going to do those in this nice pink color just some little dots there, there, there. just allow that to be a little bit messy those dots, dots join together and then I'm going to do some leaves and they're going to be in the blue.
for some final details, I've got a white pen and I can just add some little highlights with this. So let's do a little line of dots along here. And this is entirely optional. So there are my three Easter eggs. I really hope that you've enjoyed this and if you give it a go I'd love to see your version of it. If you uh, want to you can post things on Instagram and tag me at Lou Rachel Davis because I love seeing your interpretations of the, the videos that I put up here and I love seeing what you do with the tutorials. So a little reminder that I've set up an account on a website called Coffee, which is there for anybody who wants to support the channel and help me keep making videos like this. I'm posting a few little behind the scenes updates there and just letting you know like what's going on in between videos and uh, what I've got coming up and, and those kind of things. So if uh, if you want to kind of be kept informed in between videos, then, uh, then that's a good place to go. So I look forward to seeing you again in another video very soon. If you liked it, then please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see more from me, then do subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Bye bye.